In this video, we are going to show you how you can make your PC work faster and more efficiently. In most cases, the speed of a PC depends on the hardware of the computer. But there are some tips and tricks to speed up the computer. The first tip is uninstalling unnecessary programs that are installed on your PC. To do this, search for the control panel and click on the best match. Select uninstall a program. Here you can see all programs that are installed on your PC. We have already uninstalled the unnecessary program, but we are going to check one more time if there is any program that we need to uninstall. We want to uninstall this program because we used it only once and never used it again. Uninstalling the unnecessary programs will free your RAM and storage and it will definitely make your PC faster. To uninstall program, right click on the program and click on uninstall. It will ask for permission then click on yes. From there, there will be different uninstalling options according to the program layout. You can follow these steps and completely uninstall the program. The next tip is to disable the notifications. Search notifications in search bar and click on the best match. Here you can turn on or off notifications according to your need. You can also turn on and off all notifications at once by clicking on this button. Now we are going ahead to clean up the temporary files. These are the files that are used once on your computer, but they are still stored. You need to press the Windows key plus R type temp and press enter. Click on continue. And these are the temporary files that are stored on your PC. Press control plus A to select all files. Right click on the mouse, select delete. Select all for current items. And click on continue. Some files might not be deleted because these files are being used on this PC right now. You will need to repeat this one more time. Press Windows plus R. But this time type percentage temp percentage. Press enter. And we are shown more temporary files that we can delete. As you can see, there are a lot of temporary files in this folder. Select all files by pressing Ctrl plus A. And let's see what is the total size of these files. As you can see that there are 23.7 GB temporary files. Let's check the free memory of the C drive. You can see that C drive has 42.5 GB of free memory out of 222 GB. Now let's delete these files and see if we get more free storage or not. Right click and then click on delete. The files are being deleted. Press do this for all current items. There might be some files that are too big to recycle and you will need to delete them permanently instead of recycle them. Click on yes. And these files are being deleted permanently. There might be some files that are being used on this PC. So skip these files. As you can see, we have deleted most of the temporary files. And only 5.73 MB files are left that are being used on our PC. There might be some files that have moved to the recycle bin, so empty the recycle bin. Now let's check if we got more free storage in the C drive or not. 
you can see we got more storage by deleting the temporary files. Now we are going to disable services and apps that are being run in the background. Press Windows plus R and this time search for MS config. Press enter. Click on the services and make sure you don't have Microsoft services. Check out the bottom left. Go through this list and find any services that you don't want to run automatically in the background. And then make sure to apply the settings and changes. You will need to restart your PC and settings will be applied completely. Now we are going ahead to change our theme. Search theme and click on this option. Once the screen is open, turn off transparency effects. You know every little thing counts. The next thing we are going to do is edit the power settings. Search power. Click on edit power plan. Click on change advanced power settings. Ideally, we set on balanced. Now go ahead and scroll down. Click on process power management. Set minimum to 0% and maximum to 100%. You change it by clicking on the up or down arrow. Or you can also type in the box. Click on apply and OK. And here we go. The next thing we are going to do is search for storage and click on turn on storage sense. We can turn it on and off and we can also configure the settings according to our need. We can choose when the storage sense should be run and after how many days it should delete temporary files. You can also choose to delete files in the download folder if you have not opened it for more than specific days. The next thing we are going to do is disk cleanup. You can select any disk but this time we are going to select C. Check all temporary files that you want to delete from the internet and other sources. Click on OK, delete files and this will clean all C disk. The final thing we are going to do is privacy settings. Go ahead and open privacy settings. And on this page, you can uncheck the permissions you believe you don't need or you don't ever use. You can go ahead and edit more privacy settings like location. We have turned off location permission for all apps, but you can turn it off and on according to your need. You can also change the privacy of which apps can access your camera. Check and uncheck according to your need. And more important, the apps that will run in the background. You can toggle them on and off according to your need.